Okay, just a quick update. This is 10 days since the last video. Everything is just going gangbusters. Lettuce. I've actually had to string everything up. It's cucumbers. Luckily I got a tube that I can string everything that I need to string all the way down. The bush beans, they're not doing so good. I mean, they're, they haven't gotten any worse, but they're not doing any better. The peas, they're kind of stunted. Looks like they almost died and then they came back again. I didn't even spray these with, uh, with any soap, but I'm starting to think it's the hot water because I've got about 80 degrees at least. You see I added some extra Swiss chard that, that pulled out on another side, but yeah, I'm thinking it's the hot water. So I'm, I'm trying to do a dance here with the tilapia and what the plants need. These are all carrots. And you can see they're doing real well. There's the zucchini. If I can zoom in here, there's a little baby zook starting to form there. And a bunch of flowers. There's one over there. Getting ready to go. And they're just, this is constant flood. No siphoning. They don't care. Here's corn that I pulled out of the other side. And then this keeps hiding my broccoli I pulled out of the other side. Just kind of experimenting. The peppers died, as I said in the last video. This guy's pulling through. So I'll leave him there. Look at this. Now you have that in the clay pellets. And the other side, I'll show you in a second, I didn't have in clay pellets. It didn't do very good at all. You see this? It's starting to go. This is honeydew. And just... There's the honeydew that used to be in a floating raft. broccoli which that might have been affected by the by the temperature of the water as well this baby bok choy is going to seed and I'm gonna let it got plenty of flowers going on and I'll just grab those seeds off and plant some more this is another bit uh, baby bok choy. I'll let it do the same thing. I tied this up. These aren't doing so good. I mean, they're a little bit taller, but 10 days in optimum conditions, you can hear corn grow. It's so quick, and this is just not. Bell peppers. Slow and steady. Nothing to cry home about but it's doing good but uh, okra it's okay I thinned out a lot of my uh, Swiss chard because that's what I read you were supposed to do so that it's gonna start growing really well matter of fact it already is I mean it's oh, stupid fly it's going pretty good. It's not a bad one. Celery's finally starting to grow. Better late than never. I've been harvesting uh, the big leaf spinach as it comes out. Um, but I did notice that there's some crinkling going on. 
and what appears to be almost like a fungus growing on the inside. I'm going to chalk that up to maybe either temperature or humidity. So I need to address that. Everything's kind of going back to it getting too hot in here. If it's too hot, it's too humid. If it's too humid, you get mold. And also the hot water, these, these plants don't like it. I mean, these just haven't, these stopped growing. As a matter of fact, the celery, or the celery, uh, cilantro is going to flower before it even started. And I think, I think that it's turning out to be the just temperature of the water. So in the next week, I'm going to try to see how cold the tilapia can tolerate. And the no longer has any nutrient deficiency but the strawberries look ugly as can be I haven't figured out what that is and they're, they're starting to look at for my finger for reference look at how tiny that thing is I have no clue why it's starting to go ripe but once again I might chalk that up to temperature of the water need to get it down to I'm hoping for 70 and my stars of the show the tomatoes all right